So breakfast, divide and conquer? I'll make the coffee. I'll make the omelets. And I am going to make your day. I have the most exciting news. I just wanted to wait until you were finished doing, you know, whatever you were doing in there. Sleeping. Oh, what news? Hmm. Made entirely of flowers? Yes, except it would be, of course, the two of you. Painstakingly crafted by skilled artisans. Just, ooh. But wait, there's more. Mother, as much as I appreciate your passion and obviously diligent research, I just think this is a little too much. In terms of expense? In terms of everything. <gasps> I know who the victim is. What? A man in his 30s with a penchant for pinky rings and Panerai watches who mysteriously vanished in 1978. Come on. Vince Bianchi. Head of Being transported to a bygone era. Mickey the Blade, Louis the Lip. Where are these guys now? Probably under concrete. It's not the top floor. Whoa! Well, this hot mama can be my guest all night long. Uh, sir, I'm Detective Beckett, and this is Mr. Castle. Captain Castle. Well, Captain Castle, I bet you're uh, showing this little lady the ropes, huh? Breaking her in, huh? Well, actually, uh... I mean, have you ever seen a cop with an ass that fine? If this is women's lip, I'm all for it. Excuse me? To be fair, you do have a very fine... Never mind. So, how can I help you, Captain? Oh, sir. By the power vested in me by the NYPD, I will personally arrange for you to view the deceased. You are a man of honor, Captain. Can we speak outside, Captain? Of course. Rookies. By the power? Lady's got something at the morgue. You know what she's got? Bodies. Lots of them. Maybe one of them looks enough like Vince Bianchi. Don't even go there, cupcake. But I don't see a better option. You are so doing the right thing. And trust me, you will thank me. Now, take a good look around. Get a fond farewell. Because by tomorrow, it'll be the 70s. Hot. Besides, what's a little humiliation when you can find out who killed Vince Bianchi? All right, so where is Vince, huh? He's in here. Just don't play need to her part. Whoa! Oh, she did her part all right. Honey, spin around, show me that caboose. You keep dreaming, mister. What is she wearing? I said 70s, not Pam Greer. The only 70s outfit she had was her foxy brown Halloween costume. Come on, baby. Once you go white, nothing else seems right. I'd rather be dead than end up in your bed, jive turkey. Oh, OK. Protection. Yo, Becky, I heard what happened. Well. Don't you say another word. Hey, looks like our shooter was a pro. He left by the stairs, and he barred the door. He had an exit plan. Any witnesses see him? Yeah, but he was wearing that mask, so no one got a good look at his face. But. He might have been sent by Michael Carcano. Carcano just warned me and Javi off the case. Right, Javi? I'm sorry, what? Check the security cameras outside the building. If we can ID the shooter, maybe we can tie him to Carcano or whoever else was behind this. Nice dress. There's a little lady. Hey, sweet cheeks. Stop talking. Like Start walking. Castle, if this doesn't work, I'm going to kill you. What are you talking about? Harold, we should move. Is that Zero and Ryan? Can't believe you talked me into this. Just play the part, man. I am. You should, too. Richard, scripts are on your desks. This is outrageous, officer. My behavior was entirely consensual. Naked Puerto Rican cats. <laughs> what really happened there, huh? A naked Puerto Rican cat. Uh, that, um, we've busted so many naked Puerto Rican cats that, um, they all right, Harold. Here's a lowdown, brother. Yeah, yeah, sure, me and Snooky. We book around town on the Red Rocket, busting bad guys and hunting stone cold foxes. But you are gonna solve the murder of Vince Bianchi. And that is something more righteous than we have ever done. Now, 
what we want is to hear your story. Can you dig it? Sorry. I don't talk to no fuzz, pig. Well, you're gonna talk to this pig, this, this fuzz. Yeah? Why is that, child turkey? Because I'm about to make you one sweet ass deal. My God, who wrote this? I did. Do it. I can't give up my connection, you dig? I want the name of your pusher and I want it now! Detective Beckett, what the hell is going on here? Take him to Glitterati. Go, yeah. go. Bringing him in now. A breakthrough achieved by proper police work, not by pretending it's the 70s. Until I can decide what disciplinary action to take, I want the both of you out of my sight, especially you. I'm bringing in Esposito and Ryan. Sir, they're not here. They took Harold to a, a disco. <laughs> These clothes, that car, I feel invincible, man. Like Ray Price. Kicking ass, taking names, 70s style. I get it now, baby. Yeah, good for you. I got more friends on the inside than the outside at this point. You guys want a real tight ship here. I had no idea you could disco dance. I'm a woman of many hidden talents. I look forward to discovering every single one. <laughs> you sure about that blood? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, suck it, suck it now. Ah. Captain Gates, does this mean all is forgiven? It means I like to dance, Mr. Castle. Look at Harold. 